Let's make this overlapping photo layout. So you'll see we have a vertical canvas divided into three sections and you'll see each player in the bottom two sections, we have their head overlapping with the photo immediately above. So to start, let's make a new Photoshop document, 1080 by 1350. And let's start by dividing this up into three even sections. To do that, we're gonna start by making a new layer and then going to your fill tool, G is the shortcut on the keyboard. I'm just gonna fill whatever color we have. So black is fine. We're just gonna use this to basically create rectangles that are exactly one third of the canvas size. So holding command and hitting T is the shortcut for transform. Going up here to the width and the height, if you type in 33.333 repeating, that is gonna be exactly one third of the height that we started out with. So this is fine for the middle section. Let's hit Command J to duplicate that. And then if you hit Command A to select the whole canvas, with your move tool selected, you can justify to the top of the image. So now we have a rectangle on top, rectangle in the middle, and then duplicating this one again, Command A and aligning it to the bottom, we have our three rectangles. So I'm also gonna group these in folders. So this is our bottom rectangle. I'm gonna hold shift, click our folder icon to get it in there. And then holding command and clicking on this thumbnail image, it'll select what that layer is. And then I'm just gonna click our mask button down here. So now anything we put in this folder is only gonna take on this shape in the image. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with our other layers as well. Masking each one, so we have three folders, each an even sized rectangle. So now let's drag in our images. We have three images. First, I'm gonna drag this in to the bottom section. So putting this in our bottom group here, and then gonna blow it up. And I'm gonna move this player basically so he is positioned on the left side and we'll kind of alternate the images as we go throughout. So let's move him down a bit. And I just wanna move him so I know his head is gonna pop out of this a little bit. So just the top of his head should be cut off for now. For the middle group, we'll drag in the Sam Kaminsky photo and we'll move this one over here. And then for the top photo, Let's drag in this Dave Woods image. And then this one, he's not gonna be cut off because we, we are at the top of the canvas. We can't cut him off or we can't make him pop out. So I'm just gonna make it so there's a, a tiny bit of space and his full head is in the frame. So to get it so the players are popping out of the photos and overlapping with the other images, we're basically gonna mask out just their heads so to do this, let's start with Pavel Giannis, this bottom cutout. And first let's duplicate this layer. I'm gonna hold option and click and drag up. So now we have this photo unmasked by this group. So this is just like the, the free roaming photo in this document. Now with my quick selection tool, let's just click on his hat. And that should be the only part sticking out of the image. So if we wanna get super particular about the masking, we can go up to select and mask, and then maybe drag up a bit of smart radius, maybe a tiny bit of smoothing and contrast, and then let's output this to the layer mask. So now we have his hat popping up, and since this layer is on top of everything, it is going over this middle photo. So let's label this hat, or bottom hat. Now let's do the same thing with Sam Kaminsky in the middle. Let's hold option and click and drag up. And now again, just with our quick selection tool, we're selecting Sam Kaminsky's head. Okay, there we go. Select and mask, smart radius, a little bit is okay. And again, just some subtle adjustments to the selection before we output it to a layer mask. So now we have his head popping out as well, and you can't see it so well, so I'm gonna move him over a bit, let's label this Kaminsky head. To make adjustments, I'm just gonna make sure Kaminsky's head is selected and then holding command, I can also select the Kaminsky photo, which is everything else. And then with my move tool, I can move these things around 
freely. So let's blow it up a little bit just with Command T to transform it. I just want to get a little bit more contrast of where he's sitting in that frame above. So that feels better. And to further bring attention to these popping out heads, we can put a very subtle soft gradient on the image above it. So for the Sam Kaminsky image, if I put like a thin black gradient going up, that'll further pop out this head. So let's make a new layer. Let's go to our fill tool, but the gradient tool. And then I'm just gonna hold shift, make sure it's set to black to transparent gradient. And if you hold shift and click and drag upward, just wanna be very subtle about this. So like there, it's not super noticeable. Maybe we even bring down the opacity a bit, but you can see it just gives a little bit more contrast to the part where the head is sticking out. So let's do the same thing uh, in the top layer. So again, gradient tool, holding shift, and yeah, something like that. And we can bring the opacity down again just a bit. And then we can add some finishing touches to the whole design just to further bring these photos together even more. So I'm just gonna make a new folder on top of everything. Let's call it finishing. And let's start with a color lookup adjustment layer. Let's go with this two strip look, but I don't want it that extreme. So yeah, maybe 40%. Can also bring in a curves layer. So these are just adjustment layers I'm, I'm making to the entire canvas and just putting two points on this layer and then bringing up the blacks that kind of gives it this matte finish you can even lift up the highlights a little bit and let's finish with a, a layer of grain over everything so a new layer command a to select everything hitting w for quick selection clicking in the middle of your selection going to fill and then let's fill it with 50 percent gray switch this to smart filters and then go up to filter noise add noise and we'll go with eight percent and switch this blend mode to soft light so before and after the finishing effects always recommend you put on some master effects on top of everything especially when you're doing some kind of composite image it just helps bring everything together at the end and will make everything look more cohesive and that is all it takes for the overlapping photo effect